Hello everybody, welcome to our English class. I really hope you learn something new today. My name is Zorica and today we talk about indirect speech. So let's start. First of all, we need to make a difference between direct and indirect or in other words reported speech. Danas razgovaramo o neupravnom govoru. Prije svega napravit ćemo razliku između upravnog i neupravnog govora. There are two ways of relating to what a person has said, direct and indirect. With direct speech we repeat speakers exact words and use inverted commas. For example, Paul says I'm trying to get a taxi. Postoje dva načina da prenesemo šta je neko rekao. Upravni i neupravni. Kod upravnog govora ponavljamo tačne riječi i koristimo navodnike. With indirect speech, we report what someone has said without using their exact words. Inverted commas are not used anymore. For example, Paul says that he is trying to get a taxi. Kod neupravnog govora izvještavamo nečije riječi. Ne koristimo njihove tačne riječi i izostavljamo navodnike. Now, let's see how to change from direct into indirect speech. Sada ćemo naučiti kako da promijenimo upravni u neupravni govor. When we turn direct speech into indirect, some changes are usually necessary. Some of these changes are with Verb tenses, pronouns, words referring to time and place. These changes are possible and usually necessary because the time, place and the speaker may be different. Kada pretvaramo upravni govor u neupravni, neke promjene su neophodne. Te promjene se odnose na glagolska vremena, na zamjenice i riječi koje se odnose na vrijeme i mjesto. Promjene su neophodne zato što i vrijeme i mjesto, a i govornik su različiti. But more on this in high school, remember, you're just primary school students. Now, how to change from direct into indirect or reported speech? Kako promijeniti rečenice iz upravnog u neupravni govor? When we want to report someone's words, we use reporting verbs say and tell, usually in the past. Someone said that or someone told me that. These are the examples of how, how to start sentences in indirect speech. Kada želimo prenijeti nečije riječi, koristimo glagole izvještavanja say i tell. However, in English you can never say someone said me. This is just incorrect. This makes sense, doesn't it? Zapamtit ćemo. Let's remember. The reporting verb tell is always followed by an object. Glagol izvještavanja tell uvijek stoji uz objekt. For example, open the window, Mike. This is direct speech. When we turn it into indirect, it sounds like this. Susan tells Mike to open the window. Now, when we want to turn direct into indirect, we need to make a difference between indirect statements indirect commands, orders, requests and advice and indirect questions. Kada želimo promijeniti rečenice iz upravnog u neupravni govor, pravimo razliku kod izjavnih rečenica, kod zapovijesti, molbi, za, zahtjeva i kod pitanja. First, we start with reporting statements. Indirect statements can be introduced with the verb say in a present tense. He says that. We use this when we report a conversation that is still going on. Reporting a letter or a message post. 
reporting instructions, reporting a statement someone uses often. Ovo su neki od slučajeva kada koristimo glagol izvještavanja say u sadašnjem vremenu. Now, here are some examples of reporting statements, turning statements into indirect speech. Susan says, I don't speak Italian. Here you can see our friend Susan. When we turn this into indirect speech, it sounds like this. Susan says that she doesn't speak Italian. And let's remember the word that can be omitted. Zapamtit ćemo da ovu riječ that možemo izostaviti. Za sada preporučujem da je koristite, zato što je to sličnost sa našim jezikom. Susan kaže da ona ne govori italijanski. Now, look at this. I becomes she in indirect speech. Don't speak becomes doesn't speak. So here we have a pronoun change and a verb change. Now, let's continue with reporting commands, orders, requests, advice. Sada ćemo vidjeti kako pretvaramo u neupravni govor zapovijesti, zahtjeve, savjete i tako dalje. Indirect commands, orders, requests or advice are usually expressed by a verb tell or other appropriate verbs plus object plus infinitive. Kada prebacujemo u neupravni govor ove vrste rečenica, koristimo glagol izvještavanja tell ili neki drugi prikladan glagol uz objekat i glagol koji je u infinitivu. For example, our teacher tells us to be quiet. Now, let's remember, we don't use the verb say with commands, orders or requests. Zapamtit ćemo da sa ovim vrstama neupravnog govora ne koristimo glagol izvještavanja say. Indirect commands, orders, requests or advice in negative form are expressed by a verb tell or some other appropriate verbs plus object plus not plus infinitive. Kada prebacujemo ove vrste rečenica u neupravni govor u njihovom odričnom obliku, također koristimo glagol izvještavanja tell, objekat i prije infinitiva riječ not. For example, Our teacher tells us not to eat during the lesson. Here we have some examples. Come to my party, Sally. This is direct speech. Peter asks Sally to come to his party. This is indirect speech. Now, here are the changes. My becomes his, comes, come becomes to come. And here you can see pronoun change and a verb change. Let's continue with reporting questions. Sada ćemo pogledati kako prebacujemo u neupravni govor pitanja. Indirect questions are usually introduced with the verb ask or another similar verb. Neupravna pitanja se obično uvode pomoću glagola ask ili nekog drugog sličnog glagola. If a question starts with a WH word, keep the same WH word when reporting a question and change the word order to the one of a statement. Ako pitanje počinje sa nekom od WH riječi, kao što su who, what, when, where, tu istu riječ ćemo zadržati u neupravnom govoru, a redoslijed riječi u rečenici ostaje kao u izjavnoj rečenici. If a question is a yes-no question, use the word if or whether when reporting it. Ako prenosimo pitanje koje za odgovor ima da ili ne, Koristimo riječi if ili whether. And let's remember, forget about the inversion in indirect speech. 
Zapamtit ćemo da u neupravnom govoru kod pitanja ne mijenjamo redoslijed riječi u rečenici. Redoslijed ostaje kao u izjavnim rečenicama. These are examples. Peter says, where is his house? When we turn this question into indirect speech, it sounds like this. Peter asks where his house is. Let's remember. Zapamtićemo. We don't use question marks with indirect questions. Da na kraju neupravnih pitanja ne koristimo upitnik. Now, these are some examples for reporting questions. This is our friend Susan. Sorry, Kate. And Kate says, do you know Bill? When we turn this into indirect speech, it sounds like this. Kate asks if I know Bill. And let's remember, we can also use weather here. The word weather instead of if. Now, here are some direct statements, questions and orders that need to become indirect. This is your practice. This is your homework. So let's look at these sentences. Mike says, I like rock music. Andy, don't be late, Anna. Mom, why are you sad? Tom, I don't it like Italian food. Jenny, is the new boy in our class? Use these sentences to practice your indirect speech. I guess that now you think this is not that difficult. But with the indirect speech, things get more complicated. Remember when I said that there are certain changes necessary with reporting someone's words? The fun part is you'll have to find out by yourselves what happens when we actually use indirect speech or report past actions. Sjećate se da sam rekla da postoje neke promjene kod prebacivanja rečenica u neupravni govor. To ćemo ostaviti za kasnije. Remember, you are primary students, primary school students. For now, I've kept it simple for you, present simple. See you next time and thank you.